DAX, or digital to analog converters, convert digital data into an analog audio signal. However, not all DAX are built for sound quality. Hi guys! Welcome to Best Gadgets. We've got the top 5 best digital to analog converters for you today. You can buy it at the links in the description below the video. Number 5. The Moon 680D. A refined network streamer, with a generous set of features. With its picosecond clock, the Moon 680D makes use of a finely tuned circuit, around an ESS ES1928 Pro chipset, which contains 8 DACs. 4 DACs are combined to create a signal for each channel. Common distortion effect is reduced by calibrating each DAC so that none of them are working at the same level. The positioning of the clocking system and its dedicated precision voltage regulator is optimized to obtain the very best performance from the DAC. FPGA reclocking enters that based on the digital signal received, standard PCM, MQA or DSD, the DAC is configured for the best process. The 680D streams any type of file, up to DSD 256, as well as MQA. The power supply of the Moon 680D is a Moon Hybrid Power Module, a brilliant technology that adapts instantaneously to the voltage from 100 volts to 240 volts. The 680D has several digital inputs and is equipped with the Moon Mind to Network Player. You can stream music directly from your own nests or computer, or from different streaming services, such as Tidal Master, Kobu Studio, Deezer iFi, hi res Audio, and Rune. USB, AESEBU, SP Diff, optical, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and aptX audio for Bluetooth, are available for added convenience. The Moon 680D is ideally paired with either the 600i or the 700i integrated amplifiers, available in silver, all-black, or two-tone. Regardless, there's no denying that the 680D remains a strong performer overall. It's slick in use, nicely made, and built with care. Number 4. Audio Quest Dragonfly Cobalt. The perfect portable DAC on this list. The Dragonfly Cobalt is now the third offering in this line. They have the black, the red, and now the cobalt. These are a brand of USB DAC and headphone amplifiers. So, by connecting this to all kinds of devices, you're taking the music out of your phone tablet, or computer, and allowing the music to be made here. And then you can connect this to either a pair of headphones, you could connect it to your stereo system in your house, and now we're getting great clean sound coming out of that as opposed to using your computer your tablet or your phone, which wasn't really designed to play great music. This is the third offering in the line, so what makes it better than the black or the red? First it has a brand new DAC in it, the digital to analog converter that is much better than it was before so it can give you cleaner and better analog sound than the two other models. It also has a new microprocessor in it, so a computer. It's faster and always a faster computer is better, but because it's faster it uses less power, so when you plug in your headphones that's the first thing that you'll notice with this guy, is that the headphones seem to have a lot more power to them. So they also put it now a new power supply filter to help get rid of unwanted noise, there are things like cell data, Bluetooth transmissions, and Wi-Fi flying all over the place, and all that can get in here, and affect the performance. So included in the box obviously it's the Dragonfly Cobalt, you will get a leather pouch, and also the USB-C to usb -A adapter. If you happen to use an iPhone, you're gonna need to run out and grab a Lightning, to USB adapter, there are a couple of them out there, and if you use an older Android phone that has a micro USB connection, you will need a micro USB, to USB-A connector. With the AudioQuest portable plug and play Dragonfly, naturally beautiful sound is great at your fingertips. Experience more beauty at home, or on the go, with the Dragonfly Cobalt. Number 3. Shit Modi 3 Plus. The best budget standalone DAC. If you ask anyone about the best sounding DAC for around $100, one model invariably come up, the Shit Modi 3 Plus. This affordable plain old DAC offers some of the best sound performance for the price. The Modi 3 Plus is the fourth and most recent release in the Modi series, and with each release, Shit has made incremental improvements. The Shit Modi 2 was not a great performer in sound measurement tests. It had lower output, higher noise, and jitter and inferior linearity when compared to the likes of its main competitor at the time, the Topping D30. However, Shit gave the Modi 3, the AKM AK4490 chip, which resolved those issues. They didn't just resolve them, the Modi 3 became the best sounding standalone DAC for the price. The latest shit Modi 3 Plus doesn't have as dramatic an improvement over the Modi 3, but it adds shits in-house developed unison USB input that was previously reserved for their premium DACs. 
They also made some tweaks that result in even better performance. While it isn't worth upgrading a Modi 3 to the 3 Plus, new DAC buyers will struggle to find a better affordable DAC on the market. The Modi 3 Plus's aluminum box is slick but unremarkable in design. There's not a lot going on at the front other than a switch to select your input source and a laser engraved logo. But California-based shit's focus has always been on what lies under the hood. It's a truly great sounding Delta Sigma DAC. It walks all over a MacBook Pro's built-in DAC and has superior detail retrieval, a more open soundstage, and plenty more finesse. There are only the standard pair of left-right RCA jacks, for output. There's no 3.5mm jack since this does not feature a built-in headphone amp. Headphone users will need to hook it up with one, and if you don't have one already, SHIT recommends the Magni Heresy or Magni 3 Plus which are both designed to stack with the Modi 3 Plus. Number 2. The iFi Audio XTSD DAC. The best overall portable DAC. It is available at a reasonable price of about $250. The iFi XDSD is another brilliant sounding portable high resolution audio DAC and headphone amp. iFi is given to the XDSD, apt XAAC Bluetooth, which the previous IDSD lineup didn't feature. Granted, these Bluetooth codecs are lossy, but when you want to use them as an external DAC for your smartphone, it makes for a much nicer wire free setup. If you go USB, however, file format support is extensive. It can support PCM up to 32-bit at 768 kHz, 2 DSD, 705 at 352 kHz, and has no problem playing MQA files. There's also an SPDIF coaxial optical input, though it will limit things to 192 kHz at 24-bit. Experience the full dynamic range and unleash the full potential of your headphones, 32 ohm to 600 ohm, with an impressive dual mono headphone amplifier consisting of 500 milliwatts of power per channel. Make sensitive EM super quiet, thanks to the CyberDrive circuit design that puts the analog volume under digital control for the best of both worlds, while retaining full bit resolution at all volume levels. Tight bass, a solid high-end extension that isn't overly bright, and pinpoint perfect mids. The X-Bass Plus and 3D Plus, also give you the ability to boost bass and open up the soundstage at the push of a button. With an internal lithium polymer battery, playback time is up to 6 to 10 hours, depending on the headphones you are driving and what settings you enable. Overall, the XDSD is a great value for a portable Bluetooth DAC. Number 1. RME ADI2 DAC. Best overall DAC on our list. It's available for around $1,100. Created on the legacy of the highly regarded ADI2 Pro, the ADI2 DAC is a further development of the renowned ADI2 Pro reference converter. With a special emphasis on audiophiles who want the best sound possible for their hi-fi system. Since its introduction, the ADI2 Pro received widespread critical acclaim for its reference sound and functionality. It became the first choice for many mastering engineers and audiophiles. But many customers asked for a tailor-made converter for hi-fi and home systems. With this clear vision in mind, the RME engineers took the core elements of the ADI2 Pro and added some highly requested features. The DAC has more convenient digital input sources with USB and SP diff over optical and coax, making it more suitable for home use. Balanced stereo XLR and unbalanced stereo cinch are available for the line level outputs. On the DAC, the already fantastic digital analog converters have been improved even further for an astonishing clear sound with unheard of low noise performance. This is very useful for the newly developed headphone outputs for in-ear monitors. You can now listen to all your favorite music on EMs without any noise distractions. Over and above, the DAC features the much asked for auto dark mode, which turns off all illuminated elements on the device after 10 seconds of no user operation. The ADI2 DAC is also the first RME product with steady clock FS, which reaches jitter specs into an area called femtosecond, and therefore handles all digital interface formats in an exemplary way. Hence the name FS. Also new is the nicely designed remote, that lets you control over 20 functions and commands for total flexibility. Sit back and listen to your music while changing the inputs or volume for example, from your desk or across the room. With these great features, RME's ADI2 series is an outstanding choice for studio reference playback, professional mastering, and audiophile listening environments. <laughs>